Hey, what's up everybody? It's George and we're back with another video. Now today's video is video number five in the Align T-Rex 500E setup and electronic series. In our last video, we leveled out the swash at high stick, mid stick, and low stick, and now we're ready to move up to the head and set the pitch. Let's take a quick look at my setup. First, I have the radio all ready to go. I have the battery all charged up and ready to go. I have the helicopter ready to go, and if you'll notice, I have reinstalled the head and installed the blades as well. The tools that we're going to be needing are a pair of ball link pliers and a pitch gauge. And you'll notice I'm using an old school pitch gauge. These seem to work better on flybarred helicopters. I used a digital pitch gauge on the flybarless, but these by far work better with the flybarred helicopter. So let's go ahead and put the camera on the stand and get on with setting the pitch. I have my radio turned on. I have my throttle set to mid stick. I have the helicopter plugged in and we're ready to start setting up the pitch. Now the first thing I do when I'm setting up the pitch is I look at the extreme high and the extreme low pitch settings. The reason I do that is, is I want to see an equal value on both sides. I want to see high at say plus 10 and I want to see low at negative 10. The reason for this is, is that will confirm that the swash plate is in the middle of the pitch range. If say for example I had plus 11 and minus 9, that would tell me that my swash plate is too high and I would use the servo links to shorten it up. I would adjust each link one turn at a time until I have it centered. Let's go ahead and move it to high stick and see what we come up with. I'm going to move my stick to its highest position and now I'll use the pitch gauge to see what it's set at. And right now I am set at positive 13 at high stick. Let's go ahead and move it to low stick and see what it is. At low stick, I am getting amazing, negative 13. That tells me that my swash plate is exactly centered in my pitch range. My pitch is a little bit high, but I do know that it's centered up. And that goes to show you measuring those links right when you're putting it together really does make a big difference. Now, we're at plus 13 and minus 13. I want to see it at plus 10 and minus 10. That's a good place for Bob to start out. So what I'll do is I will go into my mixing screen. And I'll look at my pitch. Now what I want to do is move it to full stick. And the way I do this is, is I set it to 10 degrees on my pitch gauge. And I tighten it down. Now I'll adjust my pitch mix until I get exactly 10 degrees. And that is about 10 degrees of pitch right there at full stick. Now, what I'll do is I'll move it to all the way low stick and I should see a negative 10. and perfectly at a negative 10. So I know that I have plus 10 and negative 10 on my pitches. Now let's take a look at zero. Zero should be right in the middle. To test that out, what I'll do is I'll move the stick to the mid position and I'll use the pitch gauge to see what it's set at. And that is perfectly at zero. Now I've done this for this blade. Since this is a new setup, I just want to confirm that at zero pitch the other blade is exactly at zero. If it is, then I know the plus and minus pitches are also going to be correct. Let's take off the pitch gauge. 
Let's rotate it around to the other side. I'm going to put the pitch gauge back on. And I just want to confirm that I am at exactly zero. And I am at exactly zero. Now that we've got our throttle pitch all set up, it's time to turn our attention to the cyclic pitch. But this looks like a good place to take a break. Look for the next video where we finish up by setting the cyclic pitch and get this helicopter ready for Bob to try. Thanks for watching and as always, happy flying friends!